Hello and welcome to Is It Accessible? Today we're looking at the accessibility of Drop Tower at Kings Island in Mason, Ohio. The queue line is paved and very flat, however if you're traveling in a wheelchair there is still a separate wheelchair entrance at the exit. There are a few steps up to the platform, so if you're traveling in a wheelchair you will need to transfer and you will not be able to bring the chair up to the platform. The seats are elevated off the ground, so riders may need a hand getting into the seat or use a stool. The seats have a small leg divider and a restraint that comes down over your chest and will need to buckle. Riders must have sufficient lower extremities so the restraints can hold you in effectively. Riders must have a minimum of two functioning extremities with one functioning arm. Two functioning arms are sufficient instead of one functioning arm and leg so long as the rider has a normal center of gravity and the lower extremities are strong enough to support weight against the restraint. Any amputations must be at the knee or below. If you have any prosthetic devices, head to guest services first because the drop tower manufacturer requires that riders with prosthetics provide Kings Island with documentation from the provider of the prosthetic devices to guarantee that it will hold up to the ride. The following are not permitted on the ride. Riders with a cervical collar, neck brace, broken collarbone, or a cast. This ride uses magnetic systems during the ride. I will note that when I rode it, I struggled to breathe as the ride got higher and I needed my inhaler directly after. That's it for the accessibility of Drop Tower at Kings Island. There's a link in the description below for the Drop Tower information page. Thanks for watching.